Event. Let's start. Um, Homer 5, Crypt Agent 6. Who we are? So it's I'm Alexander Dobrykov. You know me already. I will not explain too much and introduce myself uh, because since, since yesterday it did not change too much. Lorenzo is sit um, another side of this room. Um, so we are team uh, core team of uh, Homer project uh, and we development a lot of uh, new stuff. Not only Homer but Crypt Agent, ZipGrab, and so on, so on. So. Homer is a resident guest of Camarillo since uh, it was first event. It's already three years. And uh, on each event, we bring uh, new core features and uh, new old stuff that we work at uh, during this year. So what exactly it's, uh, we will present in this, uh, in today? Homer 5, which new feature it has? It has completely new uh, user interface, completely new core fun functionality, uh, now it's easy to integrate uh, and install with another databases like Elasticsearch, InfluxDB, and much, much more, what we will explain a little bit uh, next slides. And Captagent 6. Captagent 6, uh, it's, okay, Captagent is a special um, a, uh, diamond which uh, listens in a raw socket mode and duplicate all traffic to, to zip. Uh, Currently, version is kept agent 4, but we completely redesign the uh, current version and we install, uh, we created new architecture through kept agent 6. Now we have possibility to make a uh, capture scenario for each socket. Uh, you have multiple sockets, multiple uh, incoming outgoing uh, interfaces, and uh, we added, added uh, additional protocols and, uh, of course, statistics. So now, uh, Homer 5. So about a uh, little bit history about Homer. Uh, first version of Homer it was, uh, let's say, it's ngrep application uh, with MySQL. It was very ugly, and, uh, but it works. Uh, it was strange, uh, and uh, idea was just, uh, just store all zip messages to database and to make uh, post analysis uh, with, uh, uh, with uh, user interface. After uh, uh, I was invited to, to Klucon uh, um, by Anthony, and we have created a new version uh, to be uh, what this was present on Klucon. It's 2005, if I remember uh, correct. It was based on Joomla, and uh, of course my 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 SQL. After in, in our team joined uh, Lorenzo, and we created completely new web interface, completely new design, Homo free, and it's still uh, very usable for in current in current current time. Homer 4, it was a um, sub-project. Uh, we implemented a lot of new features, a lot of new stuff, but unfortunately, it was uh, discarded uh, some licensing and so on and so on, some internal issues as well. And, uh, but Homer 5, Homer 5 is new. It will be released soon. Uh, it's completely new, uh, new design, completely new platform, and it's based on Angular uh, user interface, Angular uh, framework, it's from Google. Uh, it's HTML5, and uh, it's give possibility to create a lot of widgets, a lot of modules, and uh, it's completely open and flexible. So, uh, who knows what is Homer is? Just raise your hand. Uh, okay, yeah, okay, I should not explain what is Homer. Uh, okay, okay, it's a system which collects uh, zip messages, uh, do some statistics, can use Camarillo, can use uh, another system, but normally, 90% uh, of all installation it's based on Camarillo, a zip capture model. So you can uh, you have a user interface. It's all Homo 3.5. Um, you can make search. You can see some uh, charts, uh, of course diagrams. Uh, you can toolbox in, uh, extract in PCAP, uh, CSV, and so on, so on, so on. Uh, it's very popular. As I see, everybody use it, uh, but uh, of course we would like to create something new, something better for you, and uh, therefore we created this Homer 5. Uh, now it's Homer 5 interface. So what uh, completely, uh, what exactly changed in Homer 5? Uh, now interface is HTML5. So if you are familiar with uh, Chrome and uh, Mozilla, you are happy. With, uh, if you are using Internet Explorer, Eight, it will work, but we prefer to use Chrome. Chrome. Uh, so now, it's no defaults at all. So all pages are completely dynamic. It depends on you how it looks. 
You can add, add widgets, you can add uh, some statistics, some uh, additional stuff. You can write new widgets, and you can put everything on the dashboard. You can save this dashboard, you can create it, uh, multiple dashboards, and uh, many, many, many more. It's completely drag and drop, like in Angular and HTML5, so it's easy to extend, easy to manipulate. It's big goal of uh, HTML of, of Homo 5. We have support not only MySQL now and Postgres. Uh, of course, MySQL, MariaDB, Postgres, it's by default. But now we can also use uh, Elasticsearch and InfluxDB, uh, like a statistic uh, collector. Uh, of course, you have uh, widgets for charts and anal uh, analytics. Uh, you have uh, in Chroma 3.5, we uh, to generate a call flow, you have to install a GD library on image magic on the PHP side. Now it's not needed anymore. Uh, Canvas, uh, it's what's exactly now generated uh, Im image on your, in your browser. Uh, of course, you can extract a PCAP file and generate PCAP file and text file from database, and uh, you can support for uh, not only for local authorization, but you can use LDAP, radios as well, and so on and so on. It's how it looks, but uh, more slides later. Uh, now, what's changed in, uh, in core of uh, Homo 5? Before, uh, okay, currently in 3.5, three you have one table, zip capture, which has partitioning by date. It's, uh, if you have a lot of traffic, it's a really huge table. And if you would like to change, I explained yesterday, if you would like to change one field in this table, it's normally it's impossible. All our answers as was before, drop table, create a new one, now you're lucky. Why are you lucky now? Because now we have support, uh, uh, let's say sharding, sharding by methods and sharding by uh, time, time date range, how it works. Uh, it works following, uh, you have, for each day we created uh, one table, which has timestamp in uh, table name. And this table, it has partitioning. So now, because in Homo 3.5, you have limitation of 1,000 partition in MySQL. Uh, now you have no limitation at all. You can st store what, how, okay, one, one year of traffic, if you have enough capacity, you can store in, uh, in database. And uh, here's no lim limitation at all. And uh, now in Camarillo, you have a scenario which will uh, um, split all your incoming traffic to separate tables. So all, tab uh, all messages which uh, related to call transactions will be stored in, um, in call tables. All messages which related to registration, it will be uh, stored in registration. And uh, REST table, it will uh, collect all in, uh, uh, messages, options, and so on, which is normally not needed. Now, which goal it's, uh, it's bring? It's um, EO8 is uh, less. Yeah? So it's your search will be much, much, much quicker. Uh, also, it's good uh, stuff. What we implemented, it's uh, oops, sorry, it's uh, parsing of quality uh, report. Uh, now, if your device is supported at TCP XR, uh, you can send um, this information uh, to Cap Agent or to um, uh, to Camailo, uh, cap uh, zip capture model, and it will be parsed and uh, stored in the special in uh, separate table. And of course, we have a lot of stuff like alarms, triggers, uh, support for uh, own ro roles in Camille config, and uh, some correlation logic, uh, logic can be also implemented in Camille. How it looks now? If you remember Homo 5, uh, Homo 3.5, it was a uh, nice interface, but like it, uh, I told already, it was solid. Now, uh, what is changed? Now you have global selection for time range. Now you have a uh, menu, which uh, you can get own dashboards, and your content will be here. Of course, you can make uh, some refresh and so on, so on, so on. Here, if you click on the dash dashboards, you have possibility to add new widgets. We have created for you before. Uh, we decided how it will look, uh, charts and so on, so on. Which information you should to see. Now you have to decide by self which information you would like to see, which charts, which inform uh, which uh, load average. Which, uh, how much match, um, uh, packets per second you have in your network from this source IP address to this source IP address. Now, all mistake which will be in uh, this interface, you will create by yourself. 
So which widgets uh, we have created? We have created for you a lot of widgets. And it will be very, very easy to extend. You just copy it, put uh, some code what you, uh, what you need, and done. New widgets is uh, it's, uh, it's done. You can use it. And of course, uh, please share this community. Uh, from left side, here, you, have, you can create it, uh, how the dashboard uh, will, uh, will look. Uh, if you, for example, if you would like to see big, uh, biggest widgets on top and smaller in, uh, from left side, here you can also create a structure. Now, uh, also big goal, uh, if you remember in uh, Home of 3.5, it was a uh, static uh, search page. Now you, you have a possibility to create via widgets uh, own uh, search page. For example, here you just uh, select uh, a quick search widget and you def define which form and fields will be displayed. For example, you, have cre you can create a quick search uh, page for, uh, for knock operator and for engineers. You, have, can, you can create another page which will uh, have a more, um, in, in more possibility to, to search. It's how it looks now. It's four widgets. Yeah? You can, of course, make search on any of uh, fields, request array, from, to, call ID, and so on, so on. Click search, done. And, uh, oops. Okay. Of course, here you can select uh, time range. It it's can be global. It can be also for search, for current search, and also will be applied to, to, uh, to your charts. And here, what I explained already, you can, you can create a transactions type. If you have a lot of uh, calls, you can just select calls, and you, or you, if you would like to uh, look for only for calls, just select call transactions, that bam, it's, uh, it's ready. If you, of course, if you want to create a message in all tr uh, transactions tables, you can, it's multiple select, done. Now how it looks, uh, output. It's uh, not changed too much, it's grid. Colorized by uh, transaction ID. Uh, of course, it's HTML5. It's not uh, uh, templated. Uh, it's templated, but not templated by PHP anymore. You can make a possibility to make search uh, in real time. It's not a send request to a server. It's uh, in real time in your results. And uh, if you click on call ID, you have in Canvas you have generated call flow. And of course, if you click on uh, uh, arrow of uh, invite, for example, you see, in, okay, here it was 407 proxy authorization required. You see completely full message, already pre it and colorize it. And of course, if you click on details, you will see all details information. And now, the good feature, it's FTCP XR report, uh, or, uh, or any reports which uh, Homer can collect. It can be PRTP stats, uh, XRTP stats, it can be FTCP XR report, it can be also from invoice reports in JSON format. It will be collected uh, in table, in database, and you can display here. Here, for example, you see what quality of this call is was very bad, 3.5. And uh, of course, you have possibility also click on logs. Uh, we explained yesterday what um, it was in the last version, but now we a little bit um, extended this uh, HEPPIVE application, we will explain later you can have possibility to send logs information uh, uh, to Homer and correlate with uh, your zip session. For example, we, uh, let's se select one widget here. It's <coughs> query uh, capture charts, which, be, uh, which will send inf uh, information to uh, Homer statistic. Now we have possibility in a, of write own API query in widgets. So you can change in on the fly, on demand, uh, quick, you can, you can define which uh, time field, uh, uh, name of time field, which can, uh, um, has a uh, timestamp, uh, which uh, uh, field uh, of uh, name, uh, value name, and of course, uh, uh, value. Here we got source IP and, and so on and so on. And here's um, our VoIP traffic, how it looks like. We have distribution by IP, we have distribution by invites, we have ISR. 100%, nice, and there 100%, also nice. We have distribution by uh, registration and so on and so on. Each chart can be changed on the fly to, uh, or can be pi, can be histogram, can be uh, normal area spline, and so on and so on. 
So you can just define here which type of uh, chart you will see. Oops. Um, and now here is a big goal, what we already explained. Now we have possibility to send in also request to InfluxDB. And uh, here, you, if you see a lot of range of our web system, it's pretty small. Uh, Elasticsearch. Uh, and here's also from Elasticsearch uh, information uh, distributed pro uh, protocols in, uh, in our network. And here, it's just normal statistic from HOMA uh, stats. So what's uh, what's, uh, how it works in, uh, for capturing? Um, it's uh, used two modules. It's used zip, zip trace model, which duplicate all zip traffic <coughs> and send uh, all zip traffic in HEP protocol to uh, another uh, Camille instance, uh, which, uh, where you started zip capture model, which collect all information, all uh, zip messages in HEP, uh, HEP 1, 2, 3, it can also um, collect, informa uh, collect information on zip traffic in IP and PIN encapsulation. Uh, it can also be in roll socket mode. And uh, that's it. So it's uh, nothing change, big change from, uh, from last year. But what has changed, it's what I already explained. Now we have support publish, for, uh, publish RTCP XR uh, st uh, statistic. Here is an example. Uh, how it can be collected in the Camellia. We have two possibilities. Or we, uh, new Captation 6 has internal new module which has uh, proto RTCP XR. Uh, you, uh, you can uh, defi uh, or def uh, define uh, on your, all your user agents uh, collector server, like uh, in give uh, IP of uh, Captagent, and all information will be sent uh, directly to, uh, to this capture agent, will be stored in database, or we can forward to Camellia. We can make parsing, extract call ID, like correlation ID, extract most information, buffer, delay, and so on, and send uh, and uh, store it in uh, uh, report uh, uh, table. And this report will be displayed and correlated by call ID in uh, user interface. And here is how it works uh, sharding. Sharding works by we check registration, we define zip capture registration, Invites, blah, 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 and, and so on. We define uh, as, uh, as uh, uh, like um, zip capture call, and uh, rest me uh, methods go to zip capture rest. And here we uh, set um, in STRF time, time format uh, extension, and for each day you have a new table. A uh, new table is partitioned by uh, also part by hours or by 15 minutes, uh, it depends on your traffic. So for each day, you will create a new table, or script will create a new table. What it means? What it means what you have not to uh, use any more partition, uh, create new partition for the existing tables. It's bring uh, more performance, because if you create a new partition for current table, it's uh, use lock. And if you uh, use lock, it can probably, new partition can be created in 10 minutes, or if you have a lot of traffic. And in 10 minutes, can be drops. Now, it will not uh, happen anymore. It's a new table created uh, from scratch new table, set partitioning for new table, which empty, and it's done. Uh, another, another side, uh, a good side, or another point of, uh, of this um, schema, you can use long time archiving. You can just uh, copy old table to, t uh, to another server, make uh, zip uh, and, or uh, save on tape, and uh, use or store it for a long time, and you can restore put into MySQL and uh, already it's done. Here from left side you see just uh, normal uh, alarms and statistics. Now we have created special table where you can just set triggers and uh, uh, thresholds on which thresholds uh, alarms can be generated. Here it's for example for friendly scanner. If uh, we have friendly scanner, let's say in five minutes interval we have 100 reports, please send alarm. We, uh, you can just define it in the user interface as well. Cap agent six. Uh, it's a similar way uh, or similar history what uh, happened with uh, Capt Agent. It was a um, small application with just uh, listening in roll socket, uh, duplicate all traffic in, uh, in HEP1 protocol. It was extended HEP2. After we def uh, uh, okay, completely rewrite uh, a new, new application, which we currently in use, uh, we have add uh, some additional stuff, XMVP. We created new uh, HEP3 protocol, which uh, currently 
it's uh, exist and everybody use it. And now we have created completely, 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 completely new um, kept agent. It has kept agent six. Uh, we have implemented a lot of stuff. We uh, listen, uh, listen all requests from our users, uh, all wishers, and now we go. So what is new in kept agent six? You have multiple incoming sockets. Everybody know what if you have two interfaces. Yeah, and you would like to listen to oh, two interfaces and collect traffic on, from two interfaces. You have or use any uh, device any to listen on any device, or you have to start uh, two instances of capped agent. Not good. Now you have define. You can define in profile in in um, capped agent um, uh, capped agent config profile. Then each profile will listen your own device, and own device uh, can be or pcap or roll socket, or PF ring, or RX ring, or of course it can be file. Now we have possibility to use multiple outgoing sockets. It can be or HAP, can be JSON, can be CSV, it can be safe on, on uh, like file. Why JSON? If you prefer to use Elasticsearch, you can just say, okay, now in Genesis format, send all traffic to Elasticsearch, and it will be stored in Elasticsearch. And you can uh, use Elasticsearch like storage for all your zip traffic. Now, also we have created HTTP uh, REST API for statistic config changes. You can con uh, change config on the fly via API. Uh, also, uh, like I mentioned before, we have a TCP XR collector model for your uh, devices. Just say, here it's collector, uh, send all TCP XR statistic and we're done. Uh, also, we have implemented, it was in last um, uh, version is, uh, uh, was around f four months ago. We have implemented also LTCP, XR, LTCP uh, collector. So we have possibility to collect all LTCP and send or in JSON format or in raw socket format to uh, Homer. And uh, of course, uh, make charts and make some quality of service inf uh, statistic information. We have call transaction tracking. We have also a good feature. We have TCP and UDP defragmentation re uh, reassembling. If you use TCP, uh, Capt Agent will do its everything for you. We will collect all messages, uh, set push, sync, and so on and so on. And after uh, it, you will parse it and sort sep uh, like separate file, separate zip message in database. Uh, here, it's very, very nice feature. What uh, I will... Um, a little bit more deep uh, discuss in the next slides. But now you have possibility to create a configuration for, uh, scenario for each um, uh, socket. Uh, but it's, uh, it's will be later. And of course, we have Lua scripting. It's exper uh, still experimental, but if you would like, you can make, uh, write uh, your own uh, Lua script or the uh, Java script and make some manipulation with uh, zip messages, uh, drop messages, and, and whatever. And it's still, it's still experimental, but uh, I hope we will done soon. It's zip fix. You know, Acme Packet uh, can duplicate all traffic in uh, APNP. Um, of course, it's uh, bring problem with defragmentation because IPNP could not uh, uh, send all packets at once, and uh, you have lost packets. Uh, Acme Packet implemented uh, zip fix, which we use in Palladium, and. Uh, we will also to make implementation here. And you can use ECMI packet uh, and send all information to home. Uh, it's still the same, it's uh, still configuration, but uh, here's more interesting how it works. You, it's new config. You can uh, define which socket you want to open. You can define profile name. And of course, you can uh, define capture plan. And here, it looks similar, yeah? it's Camarillo config, yeah? but it's Flex. Uh, flex and Bison, and here you, you see, we check message size, if it's 100, let's go to this uh, block. We parse, uh, in while we parse par uh, zip, because it, it can be in one packet, can include more packets, uh, more zip packets. And here we define, if source IP 10.0.0.1, we send to our Homer 1 socket in HEP. REST traffic go to Homer 2. You can already split uh, zip traffic and store to different nodes in capped agent. And of course, here, if uh, we would like to duplicate all invites, if it's a zip, it's a method, and zip check equals invite, 
we send in JSON format to Elasticsearch, for example, and it's done. Here we can create it also the same profile uh, to listen uh, at TCP uh, messages and uh, send it to another home. Uh, okay, it's the last. Uh, home it's by default, or HEP protocol, it's by default a standard uh, protocol in, uh, any, in many open source projects. Uh, you see here it's which one, Camille, OpenZips, FreeSwitch, Asterisk, ZipX, thanks Matt, I see you here. Uh, and uh, if you don't see what you have also some open source uh, project and you would like to also implement HEP uh, inside your project, just go and uh, take uh, examples in Java, C, C++, and if you're a fan of Go, so take Go. And uh, here's also some examples which you can use uh, to install Homer and so on and so on. ZipGrab, I mentioned this uh, yesterday. Uh, ZipGrab, it was a uh, small uh, pair of applic uh, application uh, which was wrapper for um, NGrab. Uh, it was the uh, first release was uh, in 2005, and by default is um, um, utility, utility which included in in Camelio and uh, in FreeSwitch. And um, one one and a half year ago, we decided to completely rewrite it, uh, and we uh, here we have ZipGap 2. It's uh, it's wrote on C, of course. It's uh, performance. It's enough. And uh, you have possibility to, uh, to make in real time uh, capture of uh, any zip traffic. And uh, you have colorized output for debugging, it's perfect. And you have also possibility to send all traffic to Homer in HEP format. So you, if you would like to make some test call and later to make analysis, you don't need anymore to save in PCAP file. You just uh, set, uh, set uh, parameters in H minus HTTP and port, and it will be automatically duplicated in Homer, and you can later uh, make analysis. But uh, yesterday, some of um, you asked, uh, can we use ZipGrab like a capture agent? No, better not use capture agent, because capture agent exactly was developed for duplication, uh, for capturing. And here it's only for, for debugging. And here's the TCP statistic. Uh, thanks, Matt, again. Um, uh, last year, it was an also dangerous demo. We implemented LTCP uh, collector in Homer, so it was um, it was in asterisk. Asterisk can send in JSON format uh, all RTCP packets uh, to Homer, and you can calculate the pseudomos, you can calculate jitters, you can uh, calculate some delay, and make charts. It uh, was in Homer three five, but it was a little bit ugly because you uh, will see only. For, for only for one call statistic. But now you have possibility to collect LTCP information and make global charts. So don't miss uh, Dangerous Demo tomorrow. We will show how it works. It, and it works much, much better. And uh, last uh, stuff is HEP pipe. So like I mentioned, yeah, it's, uh, it's almost finished. Uh, like I mentioned yesterday, and um, uh, HEP pipe is a small application. Uh, Probably two kilobytes, uh, two, okay, two, two kilobytes. And uh, what it's done, what it does, it's um, it's take input format in CSV and send to Homer. And in this format, you can just put information about your call. For example, you have come in com you have Camille CDRs. and you have special information of billing, or you have um, diameter CDRs. Call was disconnected, but you don't know. And how you should go to diameters to make search why it was disconnected, why it was not authorized, and so on and so on. Now here have possibility to run script, which will make in while uh, bait job and send uh, extract information from diameter, set correlation, uh, call ID like correlation ID, put information what uh, customer doesn't have mo enough money on uh, uh, account, and send this information to Homer. And if you make a search, you found this call. You click, and in log information you see, ah, okay, a customer uh, didn't, uh, after, was not authorized because he has not enough money on account. Okay, now it's done. And it will, uh, will be all, all very easy. Also, you have a ECMI CDR, you can also extract some additional information, jitter MOS, and send to Homer and uh, use it with information uh, for uh, quality of service and debugging. And, uh, 
we heard your complaints what home it was very very hard to install and uh, now you have skipped just run it it will download it all packages and uh, if needed it will compile compile it and uh, that's it so it will be automatically right, let's say it's automatically installed for you so just use it and uh, it's done and also for capt agent thank you I just realized I tweeted uh, Kamaliwar 2024 and Alex speaking about Homer. So be ready, you'll be an I'm so sorry. Edition. <laughs> <laughs> but be ready at that edition with another presentation. But uh, uh, questions. I, uh, yeah, like, like I said, we bring uh, always uh, major changes in, in Camille World. Um, so that puts pressure on us to organize this event, uh, right? I understand, I understand. Should we rename to Homer World? <laughs> Okay, so uh, questions about um, Homer and uh, Capt Agent and uh, uh, one for me, I think, for, uh, uh, I don't know if you have approached it, uh, SIP grab. Uh, I think you mentioned to me at some point you are planning to have this NCURSES or terminal-based uh, call flow showing. Yeah, okay, we plan, uh, yeah, okay. We we have planned to, in, to also in, integrate call for uh, NCARSES and ZipGrep, like it was in S and Grep, yeah. Because sometimes it's very, very useful to use, yeah. But it's planned, uh, and uh, probably next release we will include it. Yeah. Okay, that would be very good for us uh, using VI as a graphical user interface. Yeah, sure. <laughs> um, other questions about. Yeah, it's from the right side, yeah. Um, how far is the implement, uh, the integration with Elasticsearch so far? Do we still need the MySQL database as well, or can we completely okay. drop it and push everything to Elasticsearch? <laughs> okay, um, we prefer to use my, my, MySQL like storage, yeah? because now with uh, partitioning and so on and so on, it's uh, very nice to use it. Uh, of course, you, you can, you can. You can store everything in Elasticsearch, but I'm not sure what its performance will be enough. Because, yeah, okay, it's depend of you. But uh, uh, if you send uh, not in batch, if you send in real time eight thousand messages per second, uh, okay, it's out of this discussion. But of course, uh, now this API. So probably I didn't mention it because now we split it. Uh, Homer, uh, Homer interface we split it to two parts. One part is complete the HTML5, and we have API. So. What you send to, and we communicate it in JSON JS format, uh, REST uh, API, we communication, uh, communicate in JSON format. So now, everything what you want to send, you, can implement, uh, you have to implement it in API. So you can just change and send data state of um, MySQL, you can send to uh, Elasticsearch, and it's all. And now, what um, probably I didn't mention it, but uh, currently, all of you use two systems, yeah, Homer, and probably Grafana or Kibana and so on and so on. Yeah? Yes, no, yes. And uh, now you don't need anymore because Homer 5, what we implemented in Homer 5, we have implemented exactly this functionality to combine all this all stuff together. So if you need to, to see statistics and information which you already seen in uh, Kibana, you just move, move it to Homer 5 and you will see like additional dashboard. Well, what is the goal? Because uh, now you have not to install two systems. You have installed only one system, you have one interface, and multiple backend. What's it? Okay. Thank you. Alexander? Okay. And the guys will be here for.